Okay guys, so I thought I would take you through hubs in a little bit of detail. Um, you know, the, the whole export from Rhino, import to hubs process. Um, remember that I'm using the, the shape driver plugin for Rhino made available here. I'm pretty sure that's the right download link. Um, so in your, you know, in, in Rhino first, I've got some mesh geometries that they have to be closed for it to be work and they have to have they have to have thickness so what that means is you can't just like put a plane in otherwise it won't display properly everything's kind of has everything has to have a thickness um and if i turn this to arctic you'll see that everything has like a basic material i'm just going to change this to make it more noticeable uh like that cool and i'm gonna turn this mesh in, uh, into a mesh now by going mesh and either having like a medium amount of polygons or the fewest possible and i'll delete that original poly surface um if i go back into shaded another really important thing to note is um you really want your geometry at the origin as much as possible this makes it a lot easier to like move around the scene and is very like I rate that as you know being very super important um to having good job to having good time in spoke so just going back into sh you know, in shaded and let me just turn mesh wise on um this scene right is it's good to note that this little thing is like 6.6 .6 meters tall or 600 mil um and it's by like i don't know it's like seven meters by five meters wide so that's kind of what we want it to look like when we put it into hubs um now we go export and i've had some tests in here i think um we'll call it hubs today and that is a gltf let me just go through that uh plug in very quickly plugin manager uh we want to make sure that shape driver where is it shape driver gltf exporter is loaded uh, and it is so we can do that and go export uh hubs today gltf okay um, you want to make sure that materials is set to yes, material source is material, normals is set to yes, texture chords is set to yes, and vertex colors is set to yes. The others can you don't need to worry about for now. And then we go OK, and then it'll say file successfully saved as hubs today.glb. If we open up documents, um, it's saved as a hubs today gltf and this is a problem for us so we need to rename that extension to glb like that and we'll go yes so it should be fine for what we're doing so if we go back into hubs where i've created a sample scene um, we'll go to my assets 